All right, seventh grade, we're here. This is the background information for the poem, The Charge of the Light Brigade. This is what you guys are going to be reading on Tuesday. It's a very famous poem, one that's been referenced in every um, and a lot of action movies and a lot of television serial shows. Not serials. What am I, a 1940s radio host? Um, my personal favorite example is that it, in the Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, The Sacrifice of Angels, one of the characters, Chief O'Brien, references the first line of this poem, uh, and then Dr. Bashir, his friend, brings in the next line as they are about to go into battle and lets you know what they think is going to happen in that battle, which you guys will figure out after we get through this poem. Now, this poem has a, a real-life setting. This is a poem that is based on a real event. And I'll talk more about that um, in the summary video I'm going to go at, up to next. But this poem is set during the Crimean War. And it was actually written a few weeks after this actual event happened. But in the Crimean War, Russia was at war with both the, with the Ottomans, the French, and the British. This is a big deal because this was a fight going over what was going on in the Holy Land and rights between French Catholics and uh, Russian Orthodox uh, pilgrims and who could visit when. Great Britain was sort of involved because Great Britain was involved in every war in this time period because that's what they did. And so... There is, because of the conflict going on, that is eventually peaceably settled before a war even starts between Orthodox and Catholic bishops. That was the pretext for war, and then it's, boom, ignored, because France, Great Britain, and Russia want to fight. Russia wants to expand into the Ottoman Empire. France and Great Britain don't want Russia to get a warm water port. Russia has been trying for centuries to get access to warm water so that they don't have ports that freeze in the winter. So, the British and French land in Crimea which is this region of Russia, formerly of a Khanate, if you go back far enough to Genghis Khan. And there's a lot of fighting going on. It's a very bloody war. It's the, one, it's the first European war, really, since uh, the Napoleonic Wars. So it's the first European war in about 60, 70 years. And while the American Civil War had happened and told people, hey, war's going to change a lot, Europe was sort of the opinion that <laughs> they're Americans. What do they know? Uh, and continued to fight wars the same way, which is to say you had people standing in blocks, you had cavalry charges, but the problem was that defense had evolved, there were trenches, there were automatic weapons now, and made that sort of offense highly costly. Well, that gives you the background there, and I'm going to show you the battlefield now um, as I swap, hopefully this works, yep, as I swap. So here's the battlefield. Um, as it was laid out, and we have the charge of the Light Brigade here. So this is the Light Brigade, and the way the battle was supposed to go is the orders were supposed to be relayed to the Heavy Brigade and the Light Brigade, and the order was that they were to take some Russian guns. These guns right here were the ones they were supposed to charge, much closer. These ones across the valley were the ones they were they ended up charging, and almost, uh, and they were able to get over there and hold them for a brief amount of time before these Russian soldiers over here pushed in and drove the cavalry back. Now, you may notice that there are Russian guns south here, Russian guns north here, and Russian guns east here. So that this east-moving offensive is going surrounded by guns on three sides. Maybe, uh, you know, a bit of a downside. So, what do you expect to happen in this poem? What do you expect this poem to be about? Um, and go ahead, leave those thoughts in the comments, and I will talk to you in the next one, 7th grade. Take care.